Hello, and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Raymond Graham. I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. St. Mary's commissioners forgot to renew the county's transfer tax for the upcoming fiscal year, potentially leaving the county nearly $7 million short on construction project funds. A document outlining legislative updates from Annapolis provided by David Weiskopf, county attorney, for Tuesday's commissioners meeting outlines a Senate bill that would extend the sunset period of the county transfer tax to October 1, 2024. The 1% tax currently charged when real estate is sold is set to expire at the end of the fiscal year on June 30th. There is no guarantee that the amendment will be scheduled for a hearing, but if the bill does not move forward, the county will lose an anticipated sum of $6.9 million collected annually from a tax of 1% of the property value the county receives when property is sold. Community and school officials addressed what they called the school to prison pipeline, highlighting arrest statistics that show, on average, more than one student a day is arrested in St. Mary's public schools. A local attorney told a packed room Thursday at the Regional Higher Education Center in California that black students continue to be disciplined at a higher rate than their white peers. Marsha Williams of Williams, McLaren and Stack said black students are suspended and expelled at a rate three times greater than their white peers. St. Mary's certified school employees and support staff are one step closer to receiving higher salaries thanks to a successful negotiation process that could cost more than $18 million over the next four years, counting step increases for years of the service. The St. Mary's School Board reached a tentative four-year agreement on February 20th with the Education Association of St. Mary's County, or EASMC, according to a late Monday afternoon press release. This is only the second time in the history of collective bargaining in St. Mary's a four-year agreement has been reached. Researchers from the University of Pennsylvania partnered with the St. Mary's Historical Society and took some samples of residents last June. They then came back to last weekend to present their findings. Most people who took part in the experiment were found to be 100% European. Some audience members found the presentation to be confusing, but they were still very interested. One of the researchers, Raquel Flesk, said of the test that she can use the DNA to tell the history of the Chesapeake region. Peter Laporte, executive director of the Historical Society, said participants had little family reunions going on at Tudor Hall. It was quite stunning. There were people who were part of the same families, African American and Caucasian. Now turning to sports. Just three matches into the finals at the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Wrestling Tournament on February 22nd, Lettertown's Sean Vosberg won the 120 pound bracket to become just the eighth four-time SMAC champion. Later on in the championship round, Huntington's Josh Stokes had the opportunity to increase the exclusive list's total to nine, but was denied by Choptecon's Greg Griffith in the 170 pound final. Then at the Class 4A-3A South Region Tournament, which was contested at Huntington High School on Saturday, Josh Strokes again squaring off against Griffith in the final at 170. Stokes was able to get the first takedown in the first period and held onto his edge for the duration of the way to a 7-5 decision. The last time the Huntington Hurricanes traveled to Great Mills, the visitors led for a majority of the first half before the Hornets pulled away for the win. Monday night in the Class 3A South Region 1 semifinal, top-seeded Great Mills used a strong second-half surge to pull away from the fifth-seeded Hurricanes and win by a final score of 70-33. This was a good win, Hornets head coach Matt Wood said. The message to the girls is that this is just one game at a time and tomorrow is not promised. We just have to leave everything on the floor. That's what we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit smdnews.com. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. Signing, Signing off. off.